So the first day we went to Western Gales. Um, it's a, I, I really like that course. It, it's tough, but um, the course itself, it's very narrow, but very long too. So I don't know, I was very tired, so I didn't play that well, but um, I think when I got back, I fell like right asleep, so. And we immediately get there and play Western Gales. I was extremely tired. Basically got out there and just hacked it around, shot one of the highest rounds that pretty much we played all, all uh, trip. And by the end of the round, I remember Bob fell asleep immediately, just passed out. And I, got, I stayed up a little longer than he did and I, I felt a little delirious. So that jet lag is, is extremely real. We woke up, I think around 10.30 or so. So I slept for, I don't know, at least 12 hours. <laughs> and then uh, we played Dun Donald that day. And all of a sudden we're on the tee at Dundonald, we're on, sitting on the back, back tees of Dundonald, which was a great, great challenge of a link style golf course. This is a, this is a golf course, in my opinion, where a lot of golfers, if you're a little bit better player, you're going to go to Dundonald because it's a really, really tough challenge from the back tees. Very long holes, very demanding tee shots, and uh, you know, big undulated greens. But it's very, very fair nonetheless. Welcome to the 2018 CBG Scottish kind of open. <laughs> 7,400 yards at sea level. Just an absolute beaut. Oh no, let's not start that today. There's a couple holes that run right along the train tracks and we timed it absolutely perfect to where the train was coming right in the distance. There's a train that runs through basically near Western Gales and Dundonald and we, we timed it perfectly so when we hit the shot the train would go by so it was pretty cool looking. Bob, okay. Go! That cauldron bunker right behind it. That thing's probably four feet deep, five feet deep, or something like that. You can see the bunkers in the front, but you're looking at them and like, okay, those those look decent. They look like they're tough. I'm not gonna. I don't want to hit at them. But we hit our shots and we get up there and. We walk to the back area and there's this back bunker back there and oh my goodness, this thing was like a sinkhole. It was only like 130 yards or so, but if you do go long, it funnels into that into that uh, bunker, so. You know, we threw a couple balls down there. And And then I get up there and what I thought was a good shot. I, I thought I put enough nip on it, but it kind of released out and I would have had like a 35 footer, 40 footer. I, I hit a sandwich and I just opened it up as far as I could. <laughs> Wow, that's pretty solid. It's on. Oh, that's pretty good. I'd be happy with that. Results. 
All right, not bad, not bad. Nonetheless, we both got it out on the green, and we both hit the green in the tee shot. So really, that bunker really shouldn't come into play. It's just something that's there, kind of just an added little feature for them. Right here, we have 275 yards. This is hole 18 here at Dun Donald Links, and this is where Rafa Cabrera won in that playoff. Bob, me and you, challenge. Closest? All right, all right. And then we get to hole 18. They were talking about hole 18 the whole time. And basically that's where Rafa Cabrera won the Scottish Open in the playoff. It whizzed this three wood from like 275 over this little burn area. And obviously we're gonna try it. You got 275 in that tank, Bob? No, <laughs> not, not, not with a three wood at least, cause that's what he hit. Um, yeah, that was it. That was an incredible shot. This heel skinny one. But I don't think it's getting there. Bobby Byers. Three wood. Just stripes it. But you gave it a go though. I did, yeah, but I, I came up like, I don't know, 30 yards short. <laughs> Coming up on the the Grafa shots. Here come here is uh that's Bob's ball. Bob's ball just barely missed the burn, and my ball is just a little short there. Just enough to clear the burn, and it actually almost crept on the green. I would have just had a little pitch and and for the birdie attempt, but I definitely wouldn't have had an eagle attempt. It just barely cleared this little little burn right here. We're about to walk over. And here we go, that's what I'm looking at. So me, Rafa beat me. Rafa hit a hell of a shot there and just really just a golf shot. So later that night, Jamie wanted to take us into Glasgow town, the city of Glasgow. Uh, Glasgow is a really cool city actually. I didn't, I didn't really know what to expect when we were going there, but uh, we were walking around and we found this like mini golf place in, the, in this like alley. It's kind of really random. Hole number one. Look at this. Just right in the middle. Bob, you're going down, bud. <laughs> they were using like, you know, metal pipes and, you know, ramps and like trampolines and stuff and kind of this makeshift mini golf course. It was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> They had these holes where like one of these holes had this cone that had this big old tube and it went into this toilet. And once the ball hit the toilet, it made this flushing noise. It was really cool. I know. Go, go. There's no way I'll be able to make that with that. There we go. Hole number two. Woo! Looking good, dude. Jamie. This leaderboard and Bobo actually put his name got to put his name on the leaderboard. I couldn't believe it. Way to go, Bob. <laughs> yeah, I did get to put my name up on the on the scoreboard. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But 
but Glasgow was awesome. We got to see some live music. That was cool. And then we went into a pub later that night, and Bobo had his first whiskey. So sniff it. You have to give a bit of sniff to get your. Yeah, I'll put hold one nostril. Out of one nostril. <laughs> Any flavors? Any flavors? It was absolutely hilarious. Bobo takes this glass and takes a sip and gives it a little one of these, swishes around, and you can hear Jamie go, it's it's not mouthwash. Uh, and then your first, your first drink of it, just let it go around your mouth, don't swallow it. Just yeah. a little bit and just let it. A little sip. Sip. It's not mouthwash though, just. <laughs> And I was just, I started cracking up. And Bobo, you could tell I didn't like it. It was, it was, for, you know, it's whiskey. That's it. And then the next one, your mouth gets used to it. It doesn't like, see when you just pick up a whiskey and go like that? Yeah. You're like, wow, yeah. it's too strong. What do you think? Not bad. Not bad? Strong? Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan, but we did get to taste it. And I get, we found out that later that day that that bottle was worth was pretty expensive <laughs> overall day two was awesome we had a great time at Dundonald thank thank you Dundonald for letting us come out there and play your golf course uh, again if you're a better player you're gonna absolutely love this golf course great layout very challenging and it'll show you what it's like to play at a competitive level over there in uh, Scotland So what do you got there, Bob? Uh, <laughs>